All right, we're back. It's Gordon Einstein, your Dubai local crypto attorney, uh, having great people on the show, great people, who doesn't want to advertise, who's very shy, but I got him to come on, Ian Arden from Mempool. How are you doing with that introduction? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Okay, just for the audience, before we started recording, he said, I don't want to advertise. I'm like, yes, you do, because we're going to be talking about two great things that I am personally involved in, therefore we know they're great, and we're going to do a, a sort of an out-of-sequence show fast and hard hitting just to let our audiences know what's going on. Two events coming up very quickly here in the UAE that Ian and I are directly and intimately involved in, him as a creator, me as a supporter, and I'm very excited to have this sort of out of bandwidth show with Ian. So Ian, let's just jump right into it. Then we'll give a little bit of background. What are these two shows? Wow, that's like straight into the advertising. <laughs> right into the deep end, buddy. Yes. But I know you can handle it. Okay. Got the power. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've uh, I've been restraining myself from like doing events for years. Uh, but finally, here in Abu Dhabi in Dubai, I'm like, yeah, we should do it. Uh, I, I want to build uh, my personal network. I, I want to gather great community around myself. And... Uh, there are a few things that I would like to do a little bit differently from like what I see around in, in other events. Don't get me wrong. These events are all great. I've met, you know, a lot of fantastic They're people. That I met you there. Some of them are okay. Are they? Okay. <laughs> I, I <laughs> met you on, uh, on a few cool events though. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a bunch of uh, events. Um, one of them is... Um, is the event called Mempool Reload? Um, it uh, stems from the uh, from the name of our uh, firm and the fund, which is Mempool, mm -hmm. and uh, Mempool comes from mem memory pool, which is a super technical term. So it speaks to our like technical focus for everything we do. Yes, and then Reload is also a semi-technical word because it's a reload of a memory, but it is uh, you know for for everyone who is not technical it means and for everyone really it means that you know that's where you can come and uh brainstorm and network uh um in a very unconference way or with uh, other like-minded people and we are very selective about whom we are getting on uh it's happening on the private island of nurai uh not far from abu dhabi um in a very nice serene environment that provokes uh thinking and creativity uh in you know, we plan to make it great. And, you know, it, um, you're not just saying this for nothing. You did it last year. And Irina, my wife and I were attendance, in attendance, I think. Uh, either that was your first event or it was the first event that we were fortunate enough to attend. And we had a great time. It was, you did something really classy. You actually, I mean, I don't know if you do it this time, but, you know, we got some people out there in a limo. We all went together. We bonded. We stopped at McDonald's, which, of course, was key. Um, <laughs> McDonald's, uh, that's luxury, man. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was fun. Um, you know, and, and the the venue had it. You know, these these houses slash villas. We great, you know, kind of everyone sat on the couches. You had a big TV. Everyone got up. They talked. It was a dialogue. It was a conversation. You had great food outside. You know, by the water. It was a, it was a family like environment. It was it was really good. Yeah, I uh, th thanks, Gordon. I I did look up this idea, or like I I got inspiration from a few family office events in the events that uh, my friends billionaires were arranging, like privately or attending, and and they were always uh, under marketed because they were targeted towards uh, very specific people or community. But the way they they happened was like super productive, always uh, in some nice resort hotel far from the city, far from the noise. Uh, they usually set their phones aside and uh, they gather in small groups and brainstorm on the topics of like either what bothers them or or the trends in how they they should fit their investment strategies within the global trends. And usually the outcomes are like very nice uh, uh, creative things that. Uh, but that also like refresh and reload your mind and you get back to your like day-to-day -day activity with some insights and improvements on your strategy. Uh, so we are doing the same. This, um, um, what, what I, what I want to do different around the events is I want more like less of the, uh, of the general discussions about like the future of technology 
in like Web3 or AI or stuff like that. And more towards like, let's as a group work on some tasks. So really form a task force and do this for two days. So we are dedicated, we are dedicating this, uh, my first, my second mental reload uh, towards the topic of the digitally enabled free zone, because I think that's uh, where the future is heading. And so we are, we are assembling a group of people that are relevant to that. So these to be uh, the, the heads or the decision makers or the, uh, you know, the consultants of the current free zones, both in UAE and, uh, you know, from all over the world, lawyers, key technology visionaries, people who influence governments. And we all going to split into like small groups. Mm -hmm. to cover every aspect of like the digitally uh, enabled free zone of the future. And then the outcome of this event uh, has to be the constitution of that free zone, if you will, or, you know, the project charter that explains if someone wanted to, uh, to set up a free zone anywhere on earth, how would that happen in what has to be done for it? Okay. This is interesting. The, um... It's almost a hackathon, right? Yes. Or I don't even know. I don't even know. The, it's almost a hackathon. It's a hackathon. It's just a, it's almost like a social studies hackathon that's technologically informed. That's interesting. And and, and, I, and I'm mulling over what you said, because there's, there's a lot to digest there. I I aspire, I mean, I would just be, be ruthlessly honest or whatever. Uh, I, I aspire to attend family office retreats that sounds very exotic and high power high, high power like on the show billionaires um it's it, it sounds great it sounds like you would have really good conversations and i agree it wouldn't it would not lend itself to the normal conference format because it's not those kind of people especially that small size i do you think i mean just you, you know uh, so we have direct conversations do you think maybe it's pressurizing a little bit to have a deliverable at the end of those two days? Yes, it is pressurizing. And what do you think? Well, what's the pros? I, I, I think, look, I think, uh, I, I think sometimes that's what we need. We, we all are looking for an intellectual challenge. We want to come up with something new. And, and that's what it is. Yes, it's definitely pressurizing. Like it's, uh, it's unlike any other event. You will need to, to meet new people and potentially like work with them, communicate. Uh, there, there may be some initial like, okay, uh, like I, I want to say something, but can I say it now? Like who are these other people? But as you get to know each other after uh, hour after hour, like you're gonna get this level of comfort, and moreover, you will you will build more bonding relationship with uh, many other people because you will get to learn them from uh, both the intellectual aspect as well as like who they are as people like how do they work in a group mm -hmm. if uh, if i want to do business with this person oh i already know what to expect from that person because i understand how they work in the in, in a more real life environment and uh, at the end of the day we are producing something that is available for the public mm -hmm. and everyone can use it so we are producing the value uh, that that is the event after which i hope People will be like, I spent these two days not only in a super nice environment, not only like productive from the networking perspective, mm -hmm. but we've created something that is over here, like public sized, um, you know, the humanity can use it. I can refer back to it. I, I can even like show it to my friends, brag about it, if you will. But that's not uh, um, uh, the, that's not the objective. The objective is, is, is yeah, have something that... Um, that is productive, um, refreshing for your mind, totally reloads your brain, uh, gives you new perspective. And of course, um, you know, very pleasant from, from the like personal and sensory perspective, because we are spending two days on a private island. So I, I wouldn't think you'd complain about that. No. And, uh, you know, same menu no. as last time. <laughs> Sorry? Is it the same location as last time? Yes. Yeah. It, the, 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 the villa, one, it's... Yeah, the villas are going to be different. Uh, we are taking larger villas and we are, I think we are getting two villas, two larger villas for the for the workshops mm. or for the work groups this time. And we're going to have like uh, the group split into five or six, uh, uh, you know, smaller work groups uh, split across two villas. 
but um yeah we will overlap on the coffee shops uh lunch dinner and uh uh for the gatherings where we have to assemble and compile those these pieces of the knowledge together mm -hmm. it's, it's you know this this appeals to the regulatory lawyer in me the, with the mission of this um i think it's gonna be an interesting i I'm sure you've thought of this. I think it's going to be an interesting, challenging, and productive management challenge and communication coordination challenge to get these people together and to produce a document at the end of this, which is usable. But, you know, even if you're just starting the process and laying the ground for it, I, I, I like the idea of a cookie cutter or print and repeat or however you want to phrase it, uh, blueprint, outline, game plan, whatever for digital free zone that, that's portable. Um, I think I think that's a real challenge facing free zones right now. They're a heterogeneous bunch, and even the, the fact that they're different is provides a nice competitive advantage and a mosaic of choices. But the fact they're different also adds complexity. You know, you have the ones that are common law, you have the ones that aren't common law, you have the ones that are uh, financial free zones, you have the ones that are free ports, you have the ones that are just you know. Yeah, interesting. yeah. It's it's interesting, um, and I think I, I think it's also a very dynamic topic given the new company tax law that's in the UAE, you know, because the free zones have different taxation than other ones. And th this is a global question about whether or not free zones are not going to be subject to the global minimum corporate tax. So I think you're opening up a whole can of worms. I, I can't wait to participate in. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Yeah, no, it's fine. And the good thing is there is no like right or wrong. We, we are not given, you know, remarks in the end of the day. So like it, it's, it's fine. There yeah. is room for mistake. You can be wrong. You can, you know. You you know I, I, I gotta say, most of my life mistakes ended up not being mistakes later. So mm -hmm. I don't even know what a mistake is anymore. I just there's just stuff that happens. You know, it just kind of goes yeah. this, goes that way. That, that that's fascinating. So what was? I mean, th I guess this is the second iteration of mempool reload or reloaded. Yeah. What, what, what the. What, there's one thing to have like a feeling and nothing to actually take action to the point where you get people together somewhere else and doing something. What was the trigger for action? Like what was the actual flip of the switch? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, okay. I, I just, I just see the, I, I just see the snitch being a little bit um, empty. Like we have milk and we've got uh, FII Davos, but they uh, and they are super popular, which is a good sign. But they they have become like too expensive, too crazy for like too big. Uh, they've lost their uh, you know their in intimacy, if you will. So we want to uh, uh, to fill the gap with um, with a similar format of the event, but smaller, more intimate, uh, intellectually challenging. Um, and uh, but I'm just using the opportunities. I. I mean, people under um, underestimate or they they don't know a lot about Abu Dhabi, and uh, that's also my contribution to like letting anyone who is not in Abu Dhabi to actually, you know, go and have a reason to experience it by going to Mempool Reload. Yes, that was my that was our, actually our first time there. By the way, thank you very much. Mm. So that, Did you that, like it? Yeah, of course. I'm coming back. I, well, I, I I like it, and I think that contributed to us being friends. That that you know, because that was. More earlier in my time here, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in my um, love relationship, no, look, her. And, you look, know, I, I, Irina I just, and I coming out there and being hosted so nicely by you was a was a pleasure, and we learned a lot, so it was great. Yeah, no, no, man. To be honest, I just think that uh, like the uh, the the type of this event, like its format, is uh, is a good like reflective of what. Abu Dhabi is like in its spirit. I, when I get to a new place, I spend time to understand what it is, mm -hmm. uh, what's the culture, like what are the values it lives by, not what they are saying they want to be, or you know the buildings sure. they build, but what's in the essence of it. And the essence of Abu Dhabi is it's a place for people or, or of people who are like either super successful, super wealthy. They don't need to rush any longer because the rush means risk. And, and they have uh, things to lose. So they will rather go slow, but go steadily and, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, go go in a certain direction with, which they have appointed for themselves. It's always super posh environment. It's, super, it's always private. It's always about, like, whom do you know? Mm. Um, who comes with you? 
Um, so that's the spirit of Abu Dhabi. And I think this event represents it. Interesting. Okay, th this is fascinating. And I'm just, I'm, I, I, what you're saying is resonating with me because I am personally making my first small little feelers into the Abu Dhabi. And you're right, the the vibe is different. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like both, actually. You know, Dubai it's, has this unique flavor and Abu Dhabi has this unique flavor. Abu Dhabi is super substantial. Yes. Because it's a small village in a way. Like, everyone knows everyone. I, I asked my Emirati friend one day, like, hey, why don't I see as many Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis here? Yeah, And my friend, look, you don't need to show off. Like, it's not in our culture. Because uh, everyone knows, like, uh, you know, what you're doing, how much you're worth stuff like that. You don't need to like uh, pretend or anything. And so your actions speak for yourself. Your uh, your hard work is how you earn your reputation in the long run. And uh, you you first put the effort into building the reputation and, and it takes years, man. Mm -hmm. uh, like when, when we first came here, like we, we knew nobody. And uh, we build ourselves some recognition through like helping people, introducing them to, uh, you know, to some interesting opportunities. Um, that's how, but it takes time. And then this reputation works for you. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. I like it. So who, who should reach out to you to participate? Well, what both who would benefit and who would benefit mempool reload? Um, Service providers uh, who want to be essential in forming any new uh, free zones or, you know, participate in, in the forming of the ecosystems, contributing to that, and then later reap any, uh, like, business-related returns from that. Mm. Um, thought leaders, uh, investors, family offices uh, who, who want to be active uh, in the thought process and in the trends, understanding the trends. Um Heads of the free zones. Uh, yep, usual suspects. Usual suspects. No yeah. startups, though. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say his name, and you, you tell me. I'll just break protocol. It'd be great if Ahmed bin Suleiman from DMCC came. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. The, the The trick with him is he's traveling all the time, um, and quite clear about it on Instagram. But he's he's a sharp guy and very connected, and I, I think he has some thoughts on this topic. He what, what he's done with Uptown. And the whole DMCC ecosystem is great. And and I think it's to a certain extent portable. So it'd be nice to get his input. By the way, Ahmed, I'm going to send this video to you. So if you're watching, you, you now need to come. Right, Ian? Yes. Yeah, so you're answer. very welcome, Ahmed. There you go. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll twist his arm. I, I can do it. Um, moving right along, you have another upcoming event? It's something new? Spark? Can we talk oh, about yes. that? Uh, yeah, we are we are organizing an event in uh, in Dubai in the Theater of Digital Art on the twenty fifth of April. Uh, that event is called Spark. The target audience is uh, entrepreneurs, and uh, we know the investors are coming as well because I'm seeing the signups over the app, and I can see my friends, the the VCs, um, who want to come. So that's great. But the the target audience is um, uh, is the startups, mm -hmm. and the format is. Um, really practical um speeches oriented towards you know getting your startup off the ground all the way to the liquidity and the popularity of your venture oh, nice. uh, we are breaking it down into the uh, uh particular milestones and we are dedicating a speech which is more like a workshop or um yeah it's a master class if you will uh on on this certain topic uh, so unlike other events, again, I love all the events. I'm looking forward to, you know, having some uh, nice time on Token 2049. Uh, I'm getting ready. I'm getting some extra sleep. So that now I can... you, you, you can't bank sleep, my friend. I've tried. But <laughs> it, 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 you can't yeah. put it in the bank and sleep. It doesn't earn interest. It, it has an expiration yeah. date. But yeah. whatever you need yeah, to tell but... yourself. And and then, so what I want to do is like, okay, have startups on one hand and have these people talk practical steps for these startups to take with them and go implement it the very next morning. Lovely. Okay, That's so Spark really is a spark. Yeah, it, it is really is that spark. moment of initiation and knowledge and capability that they can 
walk out of there and immediately apply. Yeah, and I'm bringing some. Uh, so we have some cool speakers already. Uh, we're we're still uh, uh, we, we're still you know accepting a few more. Um, which some friends are like, oh wow, like it's only one month left to the event, but really we are moving at uh, at the speed of uh, light. So I, I think less than that. I think twenty days. Yes. I mean, uh, so we have no, we no have pressure. Simon, sorry, no pressure. No pressure. You know, we should we should discuss ADHD topic on some other interview. Yeah, for as sure. Well. well, yeah. Hello, world. Ian and I are both <laughs> experts on that one. Well, listen, yeah. for, for us, pressure produces calmness and performance and great yeah. results. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, yeah, so, so we separate, got separate, from, the, separate, separate from that that little uh, off topic slip. Okay, so we're gonna fill in a few more great speakers. This is instantly actionable topics. This is um, was it, I heard you got some celebrity MC. Oh yes, uh, this guy he is uh, uh he is from the family uh, that produced Nobel Prize uh, 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 winners, um, Albert Opera. Einstein. Oh, Einstein, Einstein. <laughs> Almost, Einstein. yeah. Cool. So, um, his, his, not his son or grandson, but like they are relatives, and his name is Gordon. Oh, fantastic. Okay, and for the audience, that's just our subtle ego flattering way of saying, I will be the MC. I'm volunteering, okay, because it's such a good event, because Ian and his crew are so good, because I know that this is high quality, and I just have to get involved when, when they... Offered slash I suggested that we we all just agreed it was the right thing to do, and so I'm bit, I've seen the quality of Mempool in general. I've seen the quality of the projects they invest in. You know, I've seen the events that they put on. Um, I've never had a drawback or negative experience with them. And Dubai is a place where that sometimes can happen, but they've been consistent over time. So just you know, for for what it's worth, I have to say that both Spark and Mempool reloaded our. Mempool Reload, our events, I'm very excited to be associated with. And Ian, I, I like, I mean, I'll maybe can riff on this for a minute. You know, I think you and I are both on parallel and interacting tracks of building worthwhile communities in this region. You know, I'm a little bit more Dubai, you're a little bit more Abu Dhabi, but we're both, you know, I think we're both mutually inspiring each other and kind of realize that it's, you know, you know people always say it's your network that's your net worth. I think your network yeah. is, your network sorry your network is your net worth plus a lot of other things so yeah it's great yeah and what i also love about this is that we at, at least like i i'm pretty convinced about it we don't see neither of us see this as uh, as like competition of any kind and i think that's that's because we we both have got you've got more of the of the california spirit i've spent uh, a fair bit of time in silicon valley and i know that there can never be too much networking and uh, you know, the more networking, the better. If if you cross pollinate, it's even better. Yeah, I mean, plus I'm emceeing your show and you're and you're sponsoring mine. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's twice, like, uh, twice. You know what? I, I, I'm only in competition with one person on on this planet. You know who that is? Tell me. Oh yeah. Just be the better version of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because you know, every, everyone. I mean, I strongly believe this. You never really know what's going on with someone else. You never really know what's going on. Their marriage, their money, their health, their network. You never really know. And I'm always surprised later. Okay. And I kind of gave up on it. And I, I realized the only person that I have any kind of knowledge on is, is myself. And I, I'm, I'm the only one who can hold hmm. me accountable. And I'm the only one who knows how I'm doing more or less, you know, barring really intimate family. So, this, this whole competition thing is just like I, I, I would learn from everyone. I, I guess I compete with everyone. It's just, you know, I'm the flow of the world. And, you know, sometimes I do events with people. Sometimes I do events with other people. I'm just trying to do better. I'm, you know, the, I'm, I mean, I'm competing with better. And, you know, I'm competing with being the best I can be. And I, I think you, I don't think you're, you're not in competition with anyone. I think you're just putting, doing awesome events that have a good spirit that show people new things. And, if you can produce a a blueprint for a digital free zone out of two days, you know, in Abu Dhabi, that's a great start that I don't think anyone else has done. So of course I would get behind that. That's a great idea. My man. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. That's my speech. Okay, we're gonna we're, this is we're gonna do a full episode with Ian coming out because he's got a lot of interesting things going on with his fund and his platform. He's got a lot of interesting things going on in Saudi Arabia with artificial intelligence. There, he's he's got a lot going on, but that's his own separate show, and we want to kind of keep the themes distinct. So, Ian, thank you very much for coming on. We look forward thank to you. fully supporting competitively and not you know, spark and mental reload and you're a great guy so thank you for doing what you're doing thanks gordon likewise thank Very you good. for your shows my pleasure